Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Chef Cheryl and welcome back to my lovely kitchen and welcome back to another video. Today, I am gonna cook some cheesy meatloaf, okay? And I have ground beef, I got some bell peppers and onions and I'm gonna season it really well. I'm gonna put cheese in it and put it in the oven. So here we go. I'm gonna get in my apron and take this off. I had to run to the store, y'all. That's why I had my jacket on. I don't think I just get up and put jackets on just because on a Sunday, you know what I mean? <laughs> and to do a video, but yeah. So here we go. This is gonna be good. Like I said, I on my video yesterday, I kind of did a live, a little live. And I was saying in my video yesterday, like, I only really cook meatloaf when I have a taste for it. And I kind of have a taste for it. I've been having a taste for it. And plus, I I want to um cook this and then I'm gonna, you know, I want my uh my friend. She been such a good supportive person to me during these times. And she told me she liked meatloaf. So I'm like, I'm going to fix a meatloaf. So I'm going to make sure I have a plate for her too. And I'm going to take to her or she can come get it or however she want to do it. But I'll have a plate for her. And I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Yes, yes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do this. First, I'm going to get a bigger bowl because I think the one that I have is not big enough for what I want to do. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the camera down to where you can see it, okay? Like so. Oh, let me turn the light on too so it can be more light for y'all on this. There we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sorry, y'all. Okay. That should be good. Okay, there we go. So here we have the ground beef. I'm gonna put it off into another bowl and put that in the sink. Wash that out in a minute. Here we have the ground beef. And here I have some bell pepper and then here I have some onion. And at this point, I am just going to put it in here into the ground beef. Boom. And then I'm going to take the onion and do the same. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to get my hands in there and mix it all together. Like so. Ooh. Mix all of this together. You can see how I just get in here. Like with meatloaf, you gotta get in there with it. Yeah, it's gonna be so flavorful. Mm -hmm. So flavorful. So now I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to come back and season. Yes, y'all. Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope everybody is having a wonderful, beautiful Sunday today. Yes, and a blessed Sunday. It's a really nice day where I am. I hope it's a nice day where you are too. Because it's really nice out here. I went to the store and I'm like, wow, it's nice out here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do too is I'm going to transfer this to this cooking sheet where I have more room to maneuver. Ooh, look at all that. Good old seasoning. Okay, so now I am going to season this. First, I'm gonna take the egg. Excuse me. I left the egg in the living room, y'all. And 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to crack an egg in this. Down in the garbage. And I only usually put one egg in my uh this is like to help bind it together. That's what the egg is for. To help bind all the stuff together that you put in the meatloaf. As as you see, it's sticking together better when you add the egg. But I'm not worrying about, that's why I put enough onions and bell peppers because I know some is gonna fall out. I don't worry about that. But most of them is mixed into here Ugh, like so. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, I am going to season this. You see how it's together now and it's not breaking all up and everything? Yeah. That's that egg. Binds it together. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hands again, and then I'm going to come back and season. Woo! That water hot. My water get hot, y'all. I'm glad of that. Okay. Now, we're going to start with some Tony's. And we're going to... Use some, <clears throat> ooh, that's about to make me sneeze. Oh, Lord. Some garlic powder. And, uh, <clears throat> <coughs> ooh, Lord, that's the seasoning, y'all. Mm. And some salt. Paprika, I mean, I'm sorry, some parsley. Some thyme I'm gonna put in here. Oh man, that chicken, that, uh, <clears throat> oh my goodness. A little thyme. And some rosemary. That um, chili pepper chicken, oh, you guys. That was delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, y'all need to try that recipe. I want to make some more of them, but this time I'm going to do it with some shrimps. And I'm going to put some rosemary in here. And I'm going to put some crushed chili peppers in here. Crushed red peppers, not chili peppers. These are crushed red peppers. And some pepper. Yes. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. And then I am going to, you see me? I'm getting in here again. I'm mixing all of this together. All of this together. All the seasonings. Fresh seasonings everything one more thing i want to put in here let me wash my hands again because i got to go in the refrigerator yeah you have to constantly wash your hands i know i do especially when i'm getting my hands and all in there with me you have to excuse me y'all one second You got to get it on in there. You have to constantly wash your hands, too. And at this point, I am going to put this in the refrigerator and get my fan right here. 
ton. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is put some. I put some garlic powder, but powder, but I also want to put some mince the garlic in here. I love this right here. Gotta keep it, gotta keep it. If you cook, you gotta keep it. And I am gonna get in here again. And mix, and mix. And some people put bread or crackers and things like that in their uh, meatloaf. I don't because the egg is good enough for me to bind it like I wanted to. Notice when I first put the uh, fresh seasoning in there, the bell pepper and the onions, how it was breaking all apart and everything was falling out of it. Once I added the egg, it binds it together. And now I am going to form it, okay? So once you get it all mixed and formed, I mean mixed together, good, all the seasonings, this is what I do. Form it like so. This is what I do. And I make it. A nice size meatloaf. Look at that. He he he. That looks so good. It ain't even done and it look good. And then I take it, I lift it up like so, and I put it onto the pan. I'm going to cook it in. Juicy meatloaf, and I am going to and this is what I do because I'm making a cheesy meatloaf. So this is how I make my cheesy meatloaf. I take and I just kind of split down the middle, open it up like this. Not to the bottom. I be having hot flashes, y'all, so I need that fan. I split it open like this. You see that split there? I split it open like that. And then I take cheese, and this is the cheese that I'm going to use. Sargento. This is my favorite cheese. And I'm going to use the Sargento slices here. This is cheddar. And I am just going to place it in the middle, like so. See this? I'm just sticking them in the middle, just like this. And when you, you know what it's going to look like when I cut this. It's going to be cheese right in the middle of this. This is what you call, this is my recipe of cheesy meatloaf. And then you just close it back up like so. Just like that. Close it back. Stiff, stuck it, stick it in there and just close it back. Like so. Stick it 
stick it in there and then form it again. Yes. Terry, honey. Just like this, girl. I mean, just like this, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Just like this, y'all. And you just close it up. And here you have it. You see? Back in the form of a meatloaf. You see that? Look at that. Don't that look good? Yes, it does. So now, now we're going to take this beautiful masterpiece and we are going to put it in the oven for about an hour. I'm going to make a gravy and then I'm going to pour the gravy over it and I'm going to make some mashed potatoes with it. So you'll see the outcome of this when it comes out of the oven. All right. So we're going to put this in the oven. Boom. On 350 degrees and I will be back with the outcome with, when it's done. Okay. Welcome back to Cooking with Chef Cheryl and welcome back to my kitchen. And now the meatloaf is done. And here, I want you to see it. Look at that. It's so, and I made the gravy with it. You see that? I don't want it to waste, but oh yeah. It's cheesy. And now I am going to slice and put it on the plate. Now, let me get my favorite little knife here. Rings it off. And I already have the mashed potatoes done. So here are the mashed potatoes in the plate. In the to-go plate. Because this is going. So they're all in a to-go plate. As you see here. And this is my to-go plates. Now all I have to do is add the meat. So... Here we go. I'm gonna let you see me cut it. Let me get this right, y'all, real quick. Come on. Yeah. There we go. There you go. That good. Maybe like this. Yeah. Okay, so here we are here. And now I'm gonna slice and put a slice on each plate. Just the inside so you can see that it's nice and done. Look at that. Ah. And I'm gonna place this here for another slice. And I'm gonna place that there. And then I'm going to take this spoon and I am going to pour this gravy like so. And that there you have it. Cheesy meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Baby. Okay. This one I'm gonna put aside because this is a special plate. And these I am just gonna let you see me slice and put a piece on every plate. Okay. One, two, six, seven. So we have seven. Yes, this is so tender and so good. I just have to taste a piece. I just have to, since it's sitting there. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. That's delicious, isn't it? Don't act like you don't see it. It's meatloaf. 
Mm. 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 So good. Mm. Good. Woo -hoo. Mm. 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 Yum. You see? I want you to see a piece with the cheese. Two. This is so good. Oh man, let me put a piece of foil under it so I'm gonna drip. I, you guys gotta see this close up. Look at that. You see that? Oh, that is so good. Yes, it is. Then put some gravy. Ready to serve. Ready to serve. And then the next plate. Open. Woo. Oh, yes. So delicious. Mmm. Spray me. Close it up. Next plate. Good Lord. Whoo. And look at that cheese on here. Oh, it's just doing what it is supposed to do. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next plate. Ooh. Oh, yeah. See that cheese all in the middle of there? Oh, this is delectable, y'all. Telling you. Oh, yeah. Mm. Next plate. Okay, got three more plates to go. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, y'all. Y'all see me plate the people's plates? Sunday din din. Yes. Amen. But certainly not least, y'all. One more plate to do. Let's set that there. And bring it over here. And they didn't get no string beans. The string beans is all gone, but they can get some meat and potatoes. Oh yeah. And there you have it. All right, y'all. So, whoa, so, ooh, timber, <laughs> we don't want that to fall over. So that is all done. And thank you so guys, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for coming back once again to my kitchen and watching me make this delicious 
seasoned gravy, juicy, cheesy meatloaf that is so delicious in flavor. And it really, really is. You guys need to try this recipe at home. I'm telling you, your family will love it. Until then, the next dish, and until the next time I come, you come to my kitchen. God bless you guys, and happy Sunday.